Now to the next problem. Here we are asked to find the value of x and y given the product of two matrices is equal to a new matrix. Now to solve this, we will first multiply the two matrices on the left side. We get as the first element row 1 column 1 that is x plus 0. Second element row 1 column 2 that is 0 plus 2y. Third element row 2 column 1 we get 3x plus 0. Fourth element row 2 column 2 we get 0 plus 3y. Now we are given these two matrices are equal. It means their corresponding elements have to be equal. So we equate their corresponding elements and get 3x is equal to 9 that is x is equal to 3 and 2y is equal to 0 that is y is equal to 0. So we have found out the values of x and y and this has been possible because the two given matrices are equal. Now to the next problem, here we want to find the value of x and y if minus 3, 2, 0, minus 5 multiplied with x, 2 is equal to minus 5, y. Here we observe that the order of the first matrix is 2 by 2 and the second matrix is 2 by 1. So when we multiply, the order of the product matrix will be 2 by 1. That means it will have 2 rows, 1 column and there will be just 2 elements. Now here there is just 1 column in the second matrix. So the multiplication will be row 1, column 1 and row 2, column 1. We multiply as minus 3x plus 2 into 2. Second element will be 0 into x plus minus 5 into 2. We get minus 3x plus 4 and 0 minus 10. Now we are given two matrices are equal. So obviously their corresponding elements have to be equal. We equate their corresponding elements. We get minus 3x plus 4 is equal to minus 5. We solve this to find x. Minus 3x is equal to minus 9. That is x is equal to 3. And we have y is equal to minus 10. Dear students, here's our next problem. We are given 8 minus 2, 1, 4 into the matrix X is equal to 12, 10. We want to write down the order of X and then find the matrix X. Now to get the order of X, we first have the order of the first matrix as 2 by 2, now order of x we want to find out. We are given the order of the product matrix as 2 rows, 1 column which will be 2 by 1. Now we remember that when can we multiply two matrices? If the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. So let us take the order of x as m into n. Now, m should be equal to the number of columns of the first matrix, which is 
two in our case and we know that the order of the product matrix is obtained as number of rows of the first matrix into number of columns of the second matrix. We have the order of the product matrix as 2 by 1. So, n should be equal to 1. That is, the order of the matrix x is 2 by 1. Now, we want to find the value of matrix x. Let us assume x as a, b. a and b here are two variables. Now, we multiply the first given matrix into this matrix x, a, b. Now, since there are just two rows in the first matrix and one column in the second matrix, the multiplication will be row 1, column 1 and row 2, column 1 we get as 8a minus 2b and a plus 4b that is equal to 12, 10. These two matrices are equal given. So, we equate their corresponding elements to get 8a minus 2b is equal to 12 and a plus 4b is equal to 10. Now, we have two equations with two unknowns A and B. Now we need to solve them simultaneously. You have learned already in the lower classes how to solve simultaneous equations. Now to solve this, we multiply the first equation by 2. We get 16A minus 4B is equal to 24. Second equation as it is. We add these two equations, we get 17a equals 34, that is a is equal to 2. Now substitute a as 2 in any of the two equations. We substitute in the first equation, we get 16 minus 2b is equal to 12, that is minus 2b is equal to minus 4 and we get b as 2. So we've got a as 2 and b as 2. But what were we asked to find out? We had to find the matrix X, which is A, B. So we will write 2, 2. That is X is equal to 2, 2 and it has order 2 by 1. Now to the next problem, here we are given two matrices A and B, also given the equation A plus B into A minus B equals A square minus B square. We are asked to find the values of the variables A and B. Now to solve this problem, we first consider the left hand side. We find A plus B, then find A minus B. Then do their product A plus B into A minus B. Keep it aside as LHS. Now we take the right hand side. We find A square as A into A. Then find B square as B into B. We subtract A square minus B square. That is our RHS. Now we equate LHS and RHS. Isn't this lengthy? It is going to be very lengthy if we do by this method. So let's do an alternate method. We first simplify the given equation. We expand a plus b into a minus b. We do a into a minus b as a square minus ab. Then b into a minus b as ba minus b square. Mind you over here, 
A into B is not the same as B into A. Now take the RHS that is A square minus B square. Now on LHS we have A square minus B square. We cancel A squares with A squares and B squares and B squares. Now we get BA is equal to AB. In this case we are getting BA is equal to AB. Is this true in general? No, this is not true in general. But in this particular case, it is true because here we are given that a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Though this is an algebraic identity in matrices, this identity is not always true. But in this particular case, it is true. And the same way it applies for all other algebraic identities. They are not true in matrices all the time. Now let's see what we are going to do. We have BA equals AB. We find the product matrix B into A and find A into B. Then equate their corresponding elements. Now B into A will be 1 into minus 3 plus A into 2. The second element will be 1 into 2 plus a into minus 4. The third element b into minus 3 plus 0 into 2 and the fourth element b into 2 plus 0 into minus 4. On simplification we get minus 3 plus 2a, 2 minus 4a, minus 3b plus 0, 2b plus 0. Same thing we will do to find a into B. We get minus 3 plus 2B minus 3A plus 0, 2 minus 4B and 2A. Now since these two matrices are equal, we equate their corresponding elements. It is our choice which corresponding elements we want to equate. Here we equate minus 3B equals 2 minus 4B. We simplify to find the value of B. Take minus 4B to the left side. We get 4B minus 3B that is B is equal to 2. Now we have 2B is equal to 2A that is B is equal to A. And we have got the value of B as 2 previously. So we have A is equal to B is equal to 2. Now to the next problem, we are given if A is equal to 4, 1, minus 1, 2, show that A square minus 6A plus 9I is equal to 0, where I is an identity matrix of order 2 by 2. Now we want to find A square. A square will be A into A. That will be R1, C1, R1, C2, R2, C1, R2, C2. So we get 16 minus 1, second element 4 plus 2, third element minus 4 minus 2 and the fourth element as minus 1 plus 4. We simplify this to get 15, 6, minus 6, 3. Now we will solve a square minus 6a plus 9i. We substitute, we get 15, 6, minus 6, 3, minus 6 times the matrix A plus 9 times the identity matrix. You remember what is the identity matrix of order 2 by 2? It is 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, 
In the second term, we have minus 6 times the matrix A. Here we multiply all the elements of A by minus 6 and keep sign of addition outside. So we get 15, 6, minus 6, 3, plus minus 24, minus 6, 6, minus 12, plus for the third term, we multiply all the elements by 9 to get 9, 0, 0, 9. Now we add these three matrices at the same time. The first element will be 15 minus 24 plus 9. That gives us 0. Second element, 6 minus 6 plus 0, which is again 0. Third element, minus 6 plus 6 plus 0, again 0. Fourth element, 3 minus 12 plus 9, again 0. So we've got 0, 0, 0, 0, which is nothing but a null matrix. So we have proved that a square minus 6a plus 9i is equal to 0. Now to the next problem, here we want to evaluate without using tables. Evaluate means to find the value of. We are given two matrices with 2 cos 60 degrees, minus 2 sin 60, minus tan 45, cos 0, second matrix as cot 45, cosec 60, sec 60, sin 90. Now, do you remember the trigonometric values of these special angles? Cos 60 is half. Sin 60, root 3 by 2. Tan 45, 1. Cos 0, 1. Cot 45, 1. Now, cosec 60, that is the reciprocal of sin 60. Now, sin 60 is root 3 by 2. So, cosec 60 will be 2 upon root 3. Now, sec 60 is the reciprocal of cos 60. Cos 60 is half. So, sec 60 will be 2. Sin 90 is 1. Now, we substitute these trigonometric values in the above two matrices. We get them as 2 into half minus 2 into root 3 by 2 minus 1, 1. Second matrix as 1, 2 by root 3, 2, 1. Now we multiply the two matrices. First element R1, C1 that gives us 1 minus 2 root 3. Second element R1, C2 we get 2 by root 3 minus root 3. Third element R2, C1, which gives minus 1 plus 2. The fourth element here is minus 2 upon root 3 plus 1. Here, we do not want root 3 in the denominator, so we rationalize the denominator. That is, multiply the numerator and denominator by root 3. We get minus 2 root 3 upon 3 plus 1. Now, in the second element, we have minus 1 upon root 3. Same way, we rationalize the denominator over there also. We get minus root 3 upon 3. So, we get the answer as 1 minus 2 root 3, minus root 3 upon 3, 1, minus 2 root 3 upon 3, plus 1.
Now let's look at matrices from the ICAC board exam point of view. This topic carries 3 to 7 marks in the board exam. Since the last few years, there have been two questions asked from this topic each year. They can be asked either in section A or in section B. 